why do we have both Sensex and Nifty? Before we look at what Sensex and Nifty are, let us look at what stock indices are. There are many stock indices. Some indices are more popular than the rest. Take for example, BAC small cap or mid cap or large cap. These are also stock indices in Bombay Stock Exchange. Each of these consists of a set of company share prices. And when these prices go up or down, the value of the index goes up or down. The higher the value of the index, the better the economy or the companies in the index are doing. Indices in general are used to represent changes in prices. Take for example, consumer price index and wholesale price index. These indices are used to represent changes in prices of commodities bought by consumers and industries. This in turn is used to calculate inflation, which is nothing but a way to find whether or not prices have gone up or down. But why do you need an index? Because it makes things easier to measure. Take for example Sensex, which consists of 30 of the most influential companies in India. By influential, it means that they are financially strong and have huge operations across the world. Nifty has a little more companies that are influential and these come to a total of 50 companies. The price of a company share that is listed on Sensex and Nifty is almost the same. And Nifty is more popular than Sensex because it has faster connectivity for trading. Now let me answer why we have two popular indices and not just one. The first reason is they are on two different stock exchanges and each stock exchange has a benchmark index. A benchmark index is the most popular or the most traded index on the exchange. However, some stock exchanges might have more than one benchmark index. In case they do, they are calculated differently. Standard & Poor 500 and Dow Jones Index are both listed on NYSE. However, the way in which the prices are measured in each of these indices are different even though they happen to be on the same stock exchange. The same can be said for Sensex and Dolex. Now Dolex is the same as Sensex but the prices are measured in dollars. The second reason is, now I've already mentioned that the method of measuring each index is different. Initially when Nifty was established, it was calculated using the method of full market capitalization. However, it is free float market capitalization currently. In free float market capitalization method, you only consider the shares which small investors have and are traded on the exchange. However, in full market capitalization, you also consider the shares which large shareholders have. Now, large shareholders are people like directors and people who are wealthy. And these are not considered presently because their trades can be more influential compared to the trades of the small shareholders. Today, Nifty and Sensex are different from each other only because of the number of companies listed on them. As mentioned before, Nifty is more popular because the trading mechanism used in Nifty is better than the trading mechanism used in Bombay Stock Exchange or on Sensex. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. Please share it with your friends and do subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Bye.